looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head on over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got our upcoming week of Mutt content. As you guys you know, we do this video on a Sunday every single time. This is our weekly Sunday video. I love to do it. A lot of you guys really do enjoy this video as well. It kind of gives you like an update of just like what's going on this week, which is pretty cool in general because, of course, a lot of people don't always stay in touch with, you know, Twitter or that or not even that. Some people don't even know the Mutt schedule, right? Because as content creators, it's literally burned into our head, like engraved what the Mutt schedule is because we just have to wake up every day and get to it. So for some people may not know it, some people may not remember it and others just may not know what to expect, right? So I did record all last year. So I more or less know what's coming out at what time and what parameters, right? So I'm able to pretty much go over that. But guys, anyways, again, so far we've been like three to four days back into our setup, back into our content, back in, you know, mic, camera, everything feels great. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. I can see the little uptake on the channel of you guys really enjoying it. You know, more interactions, you know, trying to rebuild up guys. But if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, turn the notification bell, like the video. Of course, you want to be seeing this stuff every week. Smash the like button. Let me know any videos you guys you want to see down below. It always helps for some, uh, you know, some interaction from you guys on that as on that end per se. But anyways, smash the like button, guys. Like I said, it helps so much. You guys have been killing the like button. If you guys show support in this video, you watch every day. All you gotta do is hit the like button. It takes a second. It helps out the channel tremendously. So keep it up, boys. Smash the like button. Can we get up to 50 likes on the video? Uh, give you a second. Go do it. That's about it. Let's get into the video, guys. If you need coins, head over to Mo Reserve. Use code Poodle for 30% off. The link will be down below in the description. But let's get to it. So first things first. Tomorrow Monday, I don't think we get anything. I think they um, they skip Monday on content more than likely. So let's get into Tuesday. Tuesday, we do get our new Team of the Week drop. So remember, we had Team of the Weeks 14, 15, 16, and 17 delayed. They did delay it up until now. So uh, Week four, 14 and 15 got dropped last Tuesday. So this Tuesday, which is the 19th, we will be getting our 16th or 17th. So they give us 95 overall, so I do suspect they will give us approximately 96s for the final drop. Now, Montgomery and Coates were decent. Allen was decent. You know, like, they were all good cards. None of them were, like, crazy, but they were good. I saw Sam Reddick was really good. Ricky Williams, Kevin Carter, good cards. You know, not meta per se, but they were good. So I do have a lot of hope for potentially the next drop, which could be 96 overalls. Now, if they do get 96, that means they get powered up to 97. So I'm hoping maybe not, but some good cards we could be expecting. Of course, you have to look back at those weeks to figure out who they'd be. But nonetheless, we should be getting some pretty good cards to enjoy in the Madden Ultimate team. Now, that will be the final team of the week's drops. Once that is over, guys, it's over. And there's nothing else. There's nothing else beyond that in terms of Team of the Week. Team of the Week is done. Now, once that Team of the Week is done, that does leave open the window for Team of the Year. Now, I don't know when they're going to drop Team of the Year. I don't. It's more than likely going to be within this week. Last year, it would have dropped three days ago. So, we can only hope it's going to be this week. I imagine it will be this week for the most part. Um, other than, you know, Tuesday, it could drop Friday. It's possible. Uh, Friday would be like kind of an ideal drop point for it because they do want to get this out soon considering the Super Bowl promo could be nearing at the end of this week. Uh, as of last year, the Super Bowl promo did drop on the 24th. So, and a reveal on the 23rd. So more than likely, we're within that week parameter as well considering uh, we're going to be finishing this next upcoming week on the 24th, I believe. But anyways, moving on from that, guys. Wednesday. We do have Wednesday, uh, Wildcard Wednesday. Now, I do suspect we are going to be getting some new power-ups now. That's exciting, guys. We've been needing some power-ups. I'm not going to go over and I suspect who, but... Uh, Crayla did kind of say something about how, like, you know, Wildcard Wednesdays typically, uh, you know, there's a chance for power-ups. He didn't include when or where, but I'm hoping that this is the next one, guys. I'd much rather get some new power-ups and keep giving us some of those, like, you know, veteran cards and stuff that aren't usable. Uh, give us some new power-ups, Crayla. Let us rock with them. Some players definitely do need them, especially some guys who are one power-up away from being a meta card. Super important. Now, for Thursday, we will be getting some new Thursday LTDs. Now, Thursday LTDs are surprisingly so fire this year, guys, like, which is a shock because in years past... Primetime performers, everything. There were some good cards. Primetime performers actually were pretty decent, so I'm not going to crap on those exactly. Um, they were, Primetime performers weren't bad. But last year's LTDs were just, they just pretty much picked a card that needed, like, they, they just felt could, you know, use an upgrade but wouldn't get any more upgrades after that and just throw them at us. So I think Costanzo is so good that he's still 490k. And Legere Sneed is so good that he's a million coins. That's how good these last past weeks were. Now, I don't think we get a 97 overall next week because they can be powered up, so that pretty much is 97. So I think we're still rocking with that. Now, who could they drop next week? I mean, they were doing this by the vision, apparently. So, like, I don't know what the next one in line was. I wasn't keeping track on these. But nonetheless, Thursday LTD's coming. Should be fire again, guys. And this was alignment, right? If they give us two players like Sneed, like two you know, deposition players, 
we could be in for a really really good week of mutt content in general now moving on from that guys we have the friday drop now this is where i suspect i'm gonna go over a few things here that i think could drop in this window first and foremost is going to be these uh playoff promo part three divisional round right or we call it week two divisional round so remember for the wild card round we got a master john abraham and we got a hero josh allen peters and tio hilton and then we got the lower Fernet, cam Akers, uh chauncey gardner johnson and mj stewart now here's the thing very key thing here to remember this is the um going to the conference round now so the divisional did not have as many teams play so we're only going based on winners right so the thing with that is, guys, since we're only going based on winners, there's only a few guys that could really be. So there's going to be four total teams that win. So we had the um, we have the Buccaneers and Saints left to play, the Chiefs and the Browns today, Packers and Rams, and the Buffalo Bills and the Ravens. So the ones left to play were Buccaneers, Saints, Chiefs, Browns. And the one that won was the Packers and the Bills so far. So one AFC team decided, one NFC team decided. Now, again, they only did do, um, I believe it was three heroes last week. So, again, I think they do probably only two. This one, may maybe three. It depends. But the other games haven't been played. So I have some predictions. So for the Packers and the Rams game, I do have that going down as Aaron Jones as the hero. He hasn't gotten an upgrade since Autumn Aces. He makes sense. And he had a good game. He had almost 100 yards and a touchdown. Played, played good. Was moving the chains at Will last night. Super, super good running back, of course. Anyways, could use an upgrade. Now for the Ravens and the Bills. Bills won that game. Josh Allen won last week and got his, you know, his Josh Allen upgrade. Now, I think for this week, it's not a running back. It's got to be Diggs, right? I think Stephon Diggs gets an upgrade, which would be super exciting. Stephon Diggs has been MVP like this season. You could see all game. Stephon Diggs short area quickness was unreal. He could do an out route, an in route, a slant, a stop, anything so quickly. He's just a state like he's the kind of guy that you call play, right? You don't think about Diggs. You just call play. You look for your reads and then you throw it to digs, right? Like any, no matter what, like, or you're about to get sacked, throw to digs. He gets so open so quick that you just, he's like a safe safety blanket the entire game. It's so important to have him. And I think he can get a card. His last card was a, it was series redux. It was an LTD, I believe, like a team of the week LTD. So it's been a while. He could definitely use a uh, playoff hero. Now pass that guys. Now as of Friday, this could be a few things. First off, team of the year. Team of the year could come around Friday or Saturday as well. I'm not going to speculate here. I'm just going to tell you guys what it would, you know, We'll get some. We'll get a whole team of the year uh, roster. It's gonna probably be this week, or they'll at least announce it by this week. I doubt they push it back any longer. But remember, hopefully you guys have your tokens. It's gonna be free team of the year time coming up pretty soon, um, and then free team of the year solo time. A lot of good stuff coming potentially around Friday, Saturday. And my final thing, um, oh, my final thing. Hold up, I'll, I'll save that for a second. Coming up Saturday, we do have legends. Now legends, of course. They're probably nearing an end, right? Uh, Legends last year got up to 95 overall max, and that was the end. They're already at 97s. I believe we capped out at 95s last year, maybe plus power up 96. But Ultimate Legends typically start around March, I believe, maybe late February, but I believe it's March. Uh, so they'll probably cut off Legends sometime in February. So yeah, 96, 96, 96, 96, 96, 96, 96, 96, 96, 96. So we've had three weeks of 96s. There's a decent chance decent i don't know if we'll get it because of course they're trying i don't know here's the thing if they're trying to if they're trying to if they don't care about longevity they'll give us 97 overalls um 97 overall starting this legend saturday which would be awesome but if they do they shouldn't but it doesn't seem like they care about longevity this year because of the way they've been giving us overall so the only thing i think of that a lot of people have pretty much came to consensus on i think 100 plus stats are coming back this year i think there will be an update sometime around mid-february where it's like you can get over 99 stats which would make sense right because with the where with the way they're going Team of the Year's highest overall last year was 97. We have 97 players over already. Already, So, like, if they give us Team of the Year with 97 as the max, that's not a special. So, they're going to have to probably give us 98, which would, or, you know, they have given us 98 in the past, but not last year. So, hopefully, they do go that route. But if they do, we will max out at 99 overalls as soon as the end of this month, uh, if not earlier than the end of this month. So, I hope they do end up doing something for the longevity game. Over 100 stats. Over 100 overalls would be cool. Or bring back the star system. If they bring back the star system, I will fall in love with Madden all over again. If you guys play back in Madden 13, and you used to have like a, let's say 99 overall Adrian Peterson, insane card. Then you got another card, Adrian Peterson one star. His one star was like prestige level one. Then Adrian Peterson two, and then three star, and then four star. Four star was like prestige level, like prestige 10, Modern Warfare 2, like you're a god. That card had like 99 everything, uh, above 100 stats and some stuff. Those were back when cards just got crazy. Uh, I would love to see that system back again. It would mean that pretty much, you know, they hit 99s, right? But now they have four more tiers, four more prestigious to go. Like, you know, Pat Mahomes isn't the good Pat Mahomes to get to the four-star version. This would keep the game going for a decent amount of time, which is why those older games just get played so long, much longer. And then throw back a blockbuster promo and a few other things. Could get exciting. Anyways, 
Saturday, guys. Saturday and Sunday after the Legends is my fast. Uh, my closing notes here. Super Bowl promo. Don't quote me on this, but last year the Super Bowl promo did drop on the 24th. That is official. I know that date. Don't quote me on the fact that it'll be here this week because they are behind on some stuff, but it did drop on the 24th. So I think there's a decent chance by the end of this week we could get a reveal or a hint towards it at minimum. Super Bowl promo does it entail. Uh, there will be masters. There will be plenty of heroes. There will be great cards. There will be cool sets. There will be a bundle that gives you a Super Bowl MVP uh, like they had earlier. There's usually a second drop for the Super Bowl promo. There may be a blitz. There was a Super Bowl blitz in Madden 19. They skipped it on Madden 20, but they skipped almost every... They, like Madden 20, we got like 20% of what we should have gotten uh, out of 100. So this year, they're doing a lot better on that. But Blitz, Masters, Heroes, great sets, uh, red, blue team kind of stuff. Like, you know, pick the winner, that kind of stuff. There could be uh, coin upsets. There could be like stuff to gamble a little bit. You know, like you pick who you think could win. There could be what they used to do with stack cards. Like, you know, if there's a safety in the, within the first quarter, you get 100K. Like, it's kind of like doing like, like almost like a box system. Like when you gamble with boxes, it's pretty cool. I don't know if they'll bring it all back this year, but if they even bring back 70% of it, I will be happy. 50% of it, I will be content. Anything less will be a little bit upsetting, but it'll still be fun, right? Um, there will be Super Bowl coin up stuff too as well. Like, uh, let's say that's Chiefs versus Packers, right? It'll be like if Pat Mahomes throws for over 300 yards and two touchdowns, collect 10K. If the first touchdown score is uh, Travis Kelsey, collect 20K. If the first touchdown score is, you know, Daryl Williams, the backup running back for the Chiefs, collect 200K, like something crazy like that. So it should be fun, guys. It's going to be a fun time now. I don't know if, like I said, if it'll be announced at the end of this week or short early next week, but either way, keep your eyes out. But guys, great week. Team of the week, wildcard power-ups, Thursday LTDs, uh, divisional round drops, Aaron Jones and Diggs, and potentially more, and a master. Don't forget about the master, though. Come with them. Saturday Legends, Team of the Year, Super Bowl promo, and of course, hopefully some fire Saturday Legends. But that's about it for the video, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn the noti bell, like the video, comment down below, guys. I'm okay, like I, like I said before, smash the like button. Helps a lot. If you made it this far, always hit the like button. Hopefully you guys are showing support. We're growing the channel back up. Thank you guys so much for the support as of lately. Thank you a lot. I appreciate it. If you guys need coins or anything, head on over to Mart Reserve down below. Use code POODLE for 30% off your order. The link will be down below in the description. I'm out. Peace.